Good morning. So today is Friday and I literally only have one class today, CTVA 210. So I literally only have like one class and pretty much a normal day today. So to make it a little bit more interesting, I actually want to go over my round one haul from the day before where I went to an event with FASA and literally just like hung out there, literally went to the claw machines and I didn't really expect to actually win anything there because usually I suck at claw machines, but somehow it actually worked that time and I actually won two plushies. So I'm kind of really excited to do that. But I also want to build out that Lego kit that my friend gave me on my birthday, which I haven't done for like two weeks now. So I want to get to that today because I feel like that would be really fun and it's going to be an interesting experience since I've never really messed around with Lego sets throughout my entire life. So today, I guess, will be the first time I actually build out a whole Lego set. I'm pretty sure I've played with Legos before, but not really build out a whole set or something. So I think this will be really cool. And maybe if you guys all want me to build out another Lego set or something, comment down below. I feel like that would be also a really fun video series to do here because yeah, mostly this channel has been about my life, but I guess if I want to add one more thing to my life, then it could be that. This is the first thing I won. It's a bear. It's literally called Sumo Bear Mascot Plush. There's apparently two designs of it. I don't know which one I ended up getting or which one of the designs, but I like this one. I feel like it could be a nice addition to my backpack or something, so I don't make myself look like a complete nerd. <laughs> but I've been wanting to get a lot more cute plushies or whatever and kind of change up my room a little bit so that I also don't look like a complete nerd as well with all of my cubes and everything next to that so if I end up like moving to a new place in the next few months or something that's kind of what I want to do so that my room can look a little bit more like not too nerdy I guess and the next thing I have here is this one also another one of those like cute plushies or something it literally has um like tapioca on there and I think I have a few more plushies that I have from other times at round one I think the one Kirby plushie that I got and a few other things and I feel like it would look good right next to it that's pretty much my round one haul I guess but I think now it's probably time to actually head to campus and get my one and only class over with I am back home and I didn't vlog shit for some reason, but what I kind of want to do right now before I actually start assembling that Lego kit is I actually want to redo one of the thumbnails for my latest video on my main channel because I did not put an outline on one of them and I feel like it doesn't really stand out. So I think what I'm going to actually do, because I already actually have two thumbnails that are pretty much there um, that I'm using the A and B testing feature, I actually want to go ahead and do that. I think I have like one more slot for another thumbnail so i think i'm just gonna take another random shot from the video and then have some text over it I just got finished editing the thumbnail and changing it so now I actually started a new thumbnail test because I originally had two of them and apparently it wouldn't just let you add a new one to an existing test so I started a new one now it's time to actually assemble this thing okay so here is the whole set we got a bunch of these colored pieces we have three of these things oh yeah you can have two different ways to set these up this is the film camera looking one this is the camcorder one and then this is you can have it set to be a tv and i think i'm gonna go with this one and i think that is why we have this here let's open up all these pieces Got that open. There we go. We got <laughs> we got to step three. We got to step three. <laughs> This 
is probably all going to be sped up because I don't think I would want to upload a one hour video. That is literally just me doing this. It's already been 22 minutes. Oh my god. Jeez, I wonder if this camera is going to keep be able to keep going. Down with the gang, so you know what's going on. Came in with your best knee, you stepping out. Now your ex nigga stressing out. Ex back to the neck, no smoking on the best allow. Get that stress off your chest, come and press me now. I think we're actually making a lot of progress now. Like, I got to this part where I can just flip this thing out here. I guess it's where the, like, the film compartment is. And, okay, there we go, closed. It's starting to look like a camera now. Yeah, yeah. here we're at the final part where we assembled the lens there we go now i understand where this is supposed to what this is supposed to do now we have this thing here for the lens goes like that now we just attach it to i think i'm gonna need to detach this for a bit there we go yeah this is actually starting to come together pretty well <laughs> there we go that looks like so now we have it attached there i need to be careful with this okay whatever that door can do whatever it wants to. I think that's actually pretty much it. I think I actually do have some extra pieces here. But yeah, it looks like I got most of it. Like, all of everything how I wanted it to. Or how it's supposed to be. Like, how you're supposed to build it. And, yeah, it really does look really interesting. Maybe I should actually get a actual film camera at some point. But yeah, this honestly <laughs> looks really cool. Okay, it's actually pretty much done now. This is what it looks like. I don't like how there's this dial, this thing. It actually does like, I think there's like the rubber part in it. So it doesn't obviously stay in one place and little viewfinder there. I think this is also the shutter button as well. But yeah, this is honestly really cool. Finally actually got to it after <laughs> two weeks and we also have another strip of film yeah i feel like this looks really cool i think it will probably like stay around like a wall somewhere but yeah i honestly wonder what like for the size of this lens what kind of focal length and aperture this would be i feel like it's kind of a similar size to my actual camera that i'm recording with so i think that's kind of fun but yeah i think that will be pretty much it thank you all for watching i think the next one will actually be the first faucet general meeting i'll see you all in the next one bye